Welcome, and thanks for joining me for some Pathfinder Kingmaker. We just beat the Tusk Gutter with the Miri, and I think we have its head somewhere. We got its pelt here. Tusk Gutter's head. Proof of your victory over the forest monster. So we're going to take that back to Oleg. I think it was Oleg that was uh, part of this quest. Let's see what he has to say about that. So again, thanks for being here. I've got my coffee and I'm ready to set out. So settle in and let's get going. Oh, it is done. real quick. <laughs> Before we do that, let's just heal up a bit. That didn't do much. Um, and Lindsay was called forth. Lindsay could cast a couple of these. Yes. We're gonna head back yes, yes. to the trading post. We can rest there. I don't want to make camp here, yes. but we'll yes. refresh a little bit before we hit the map. Okay, let's go. So glad we beat that giant boar. I was getting a little bit depressed <laughs> with how we've been doing against other things. Temple of the Elk is not going well at all. How long is our trip back here? Just over a day. Let's do it. See if we run into anything along the way. Can we speed this up? I don't think so. Spacebar? No, that just stops it. I need to catch my breath. Well, Octavia, we're back here at Oleg's, so you can take a nap now. All right, let's go see if he has anything to say about this boar's head. I also want to talk to the guy over here, Jod. See if we can get any more information about the Temple of the Elk that might help us beat any of those enemies there. Hey, Oleg. Tuskutter's dead. You can mount his head on the wall. Oleg looks at the bloodstained boar's head with respect, touching its tusk with his finger to test how sharp it is. That's one heck of a beast. I'd love to have a trophy like that, but a deal is a deal. The head goes to the old Benzin, and his bounty goes to you. 400 gold, a masterwork longbow, 180 XP. Nice. Did we have anything we need to sell now? I wish we could, like, organize this by stuff that we don't need. <laughs> Not sure we really need this. I guess we'll hang on to it for the moment. These coins we've been finding. Not sure... Well, this one says a well-grounded antiquities collector. So does this one. So maybe we should keep those and not just sell them to Oleg. Anything else we want to sell? Boar pelt. I think that's it. This is the longbow we got. Do, does anybody need that? Okay, so the I was looking at the proficiency group on the crossbow is simple, whereas 
the longbows, martial proficiency. I wonder if she could use that longbow. Oops. Let's finish our deal. Um, let's take a look. Uh, she can't even use that. Four to eleven damage when equipped versus one to eight damage. Oh, that's probably because of other bonuses she has. Like if we put this on. No, it's still 1 to 8. This is better. We might have to just sell that back to Oleg. I guess we'll keep it for now. Uh, let's go in and rest. No stopping now. Go to sleep. Gonna have another dream. I haven't talked to either of them since they've been here. Maybe we ought to see what they have to say. What do you want? Have a little chat? All right, it's not like we have anything better to do. I'm curious about the, this. Yeah, what what's your your guys's relationship? It seems a little odd. Well, my Octavia and I don't have a re relationship. We have a life together. <laughs> How'd you meet? Back when we were children, we were taken as apprentices by a great spellmaster, Janish. Maestro Janna, she called himself. Maestro. <laughs> he was our teacher. Well, he made Octavia read books and memorize spells. I have my own innate magic. He trained me a bit, taught how to control my gifts so I wouldn't lose control and incinerate myself like a dumbass. Okay. Oh, teacher, we will meet again. There's one more test I must pass. But you were asking about my Octavia. He calls her my Octavia. We've been together all our lives. We learned everything together, how to weave magic and how to survive. And as we grew older, we learned how to love. Without each other, we would never have gotten out of there, that's for sure. We would have given up and surrendered to death. But together, that's a very different story. Not the first time and not the tenth, but eventually we made it out. Why do you call her yours? My girl loves freedom so much, and even a slight chance of losing it frightens her. She is so smart. You really think she feels like I'm trying to make her mine? Like an apple stolen out of market? Me, who was skinned alive for trying to help her escape? What? Oh. If she's afraid of the word my, it's because she doesn't understand the difference between my boots and my heart. But she will understand, sooner or later. Are you and Octavia faithful? Octavia and I are connected, and this connection cannot be broken. We grew into each other. You know, jealousy is for weak cowards who don't trust each other and are scared of being tricked. If a knight on the side threatens your love, that just means there was no real love there to begin with. Well, that's one way to look at it. She and I are together, to the end, and we will never part from each other. So when she likes some lad or some lass, it's no drama to me. I just ask her whether she wants me to leave them alone or join in. And she does the same. Ha ha. <laughs> All right. What are you judging us? What? Are you judging us? Or maybe, maybe you just want to join us in our tent. Hmm. Oh boy, these two. <laughs> Is that an invitation? I'm not here to judge, just curious. You asked and I answered. 
When you pry into others' lives, don't be surprised if you find something that will keep you up at night. Don't mention it. Let's talk to her. Oh, hello. Something you need? Yeah, let's see what she has to say about their relationship. We're together. She's a little more nonchalant about it. Yeah, so that was kind of unconvincing. You've noticed? Well, I didn't mean that. Now I'll have to explain. I'm not sure I know how to put it correctly. You see, Reg seems to treat me like his property. He's always kind to me and it feels good when we travel together or when we share a blanket at the campsite, but he always calls me my Octavia. I've told him over and over that I don't belong to anyone, that I'm my own, that I stay with him by my own free will. He only grins when I say that. I bet he likes to think that I'm his. Never mind though, I'll sort it out somehow. You owe him a lot. I don't like this O oh word. I don't owe anything to anybody. Everything I do, I do of my own free will. But to answer your question, yes, Reg has done a lot for me. I can't count how many times he was whipped by masters because of me. How many times he took the blame for my doings. He never complained when they dragged him, beaten and covered in blood, to the slave barracks. He just groaned and clenched his fists while I bandaged his, bandaged his wounds with the scraps of my filthy clothing. We've always been together my whole life, as slaves and as free people. I wouldn't be me if not for him. Does it bother you that he's impulsive? Ah, that that's a very delicate matter. Reg means a lot to me, and he endured a lot for me, but some parts of him just scare me. He becomes extremely bloodthirsty when it comes to slavers. Don't get me wrong, I hate slavers with all my heart, and I'll do a lot to cleanse the world of their filth. But Reg, he'd do anything. Understand? Absolutely anything. I'm afraid that anger might kill everything good in him. I've attempted to talk to him about it many times, but he just won't listen. He becomes even angrier after our conversations. So you guys have been together a long time, haven't you? Years ago, when I was studying magic at Ma Maestro Janus, Reg was his student too, though you couldn't actually say he was really studying anything. Reg had his own ways to cast spells. He never needed the Maestro's instructions. You see, unlike wizards, Reg draws power directly from his innate bloodline abilities. Janish didn't realize the nature of Reg's power when he took the young boy as his new student. And when he finally understood them, he just taught the negligent half-orc to control his powers to avoid harming himself or the others. Reg and I have been together ever since. We could both use magic, but more importantly, we both craved freedom. We used to vow to each other that someday we'd break free from the unbearable captivity or die trying together. I guess it's good that we fulfilled only the first part of that vow. All right, we'll talk again. Okay, let's Onwards. head back downstairs. And I wanted to speak to Jod. Is that his name? Over here. Yeah. How may I serve you? Hmm. I was hoping maybe since we kind of investigated things at the temple that he might have some more information for here. us. Find the temple of the elk. I've pieced together its location from what I can remember of my visions. I have a rough idea of where to look for the sanctuary, somewhere in the North Narl marshes. However, I don't possess the strength to walk this path myself. Do not reject my plea, good traveler, and I'll repay you as best I can. In these dark times, people rarely help each other without compensation. May Arastil forgive us all. 
But I am sure my healing abilities will be useful to you. Well, yeah, we we found the temple, but we're having some trouble getting inside. Um, let's check our journal. Amiri's over there just going at it on that training dummy. That's our still our main objective. We do have this riverbed nightmare. And Amiri wants to find another monster. So is there anything that we can do to help us. <laughs> Forget, is this? Oh. Here we go. We did uh, stock up on these last time. Anything offensive that could help us? Inflict wounds. I don't know if we could use anything above. Inflict light wounds. It's touch range. Scroll of prayer. Bring special favor upon yourself and your allies while bringing disfavor to your enemies. Each gain plus one luck while each of your foes takes a minus one penalty. It's pretty expensive though. That tree bear wasn't inflicting any status on us. It was just mauling us. I don't think there's anything there to help us. We could check with Bakken. Um... I wonder if this would be at all useful against that tree bear. We could try the bark skin. Maybe help us withstand his hits. It's expensive too. Does Amiri still have one of those? No. lasts a little while we also didn't try acid on that thing because we could we could try both of those acid fire these are pretty cheap Let's buy several of those. And then we probably should buy some more potions. Okay. Let's equip those things. We're going to give her this bark skin. And let's.
Let's give her a... Well, she's not going to use the fire. Couple of potions. Iran. Can he use this? Oh, the, it's already got the cure light wounds. Let's give him a potion. Lindsay needs more of these. Regengar. Instead of that, let's give him one of these. He might want to use this armor. Shield of Faith. Does that work against physical attacks? Plus two deflection bonus to AC. Reduce person. Not sure that helps us a whole lot. Let's give her one of these alchemist fire. Yeah, let's give him one of those too. Okay. Let's see, we rested, yeah. Gonna make a new save here. And then we're gonna head back to the temple. Doing a lot of back and forth here, but I don't know what else to do. We're so close now to, well, still got, what, 417 XP to level up. Take a day to travel. We're probably gonna have to camp then. I guess we can fight. These, at least so far, haven't been difficult encounters. Spitting giant centipede. Okay. Anything over here? March on. I'm not afraid. Flare. Oh, there was one over there. Okay. Frost. Try that ear acid. Ragengar. I'll cut you. Okay, that works. Them 
Okay then. <laughs> that takes care of that. See if anybody's fatigued by the time we get over here. I need to catch my breath. Yeah, okay. Guess that means we were camping. You write and you write, Lindsay, but what's the point if you will be <laughs> forgotten after you die? Oh. That's why I'm writing, so I won't be forgotten. My stories will belong to the ages. Yeah. Yes, the ages. I won't accept anything less. It's a way to live forever. Good. Good. Okay. okay, we're back at the Temple of the Elk. I am not optimistic about this at all. I think we're just going to head for that tree bear. See if we can do any better than we did last time. That little tooltip shows up on this, but doesn't do anything. Right click, no. Maybe it's just showing that, that this is available. Did we look at this before? No stopping now. Last time we tried this, we just got destroyed. I need inspiration. We read this last time. This bear must have some kind of damage reduction, but I don't think we can't see what it is. Oh yeah, there was this guy that he was fighting, or gal, and the bear just destroyed them before we even got up there. This is telling us that we need a specific type of damage probably to beat this bear. So we'll try some fire, maybe. Um, blast. Let's do that. Move up just a bit. Mary. Should we wait and have Octavia put in large person on her? Or does she have she has a potion? Let's take that. Oh, she maybe should use the bark bark skin too. Yeah, let's put that on. Regengar. Let's see what a little fire does against this. Nothing if we miss. Lindsay. Could try the scream. Probably not going to hit.
Okay. Octavia. Let's just try, like... The acid. That did some damage. Nice. He's just dead. <laughs> well, we've got acid too. Missed, of course. Close enough to put this on? No. Maybe we have you delay. Let's see if we need to heal anybody. We could put resistance on Amiri. Let's do that. Rage on. Oh, she gets a little HP for that too. That's nice. They go down. <sighs> okay, Regengar. Let's give you a little extra armor. Move you up. We don't want him getting hit. Lindsay, I mean, it would be awesome if you could put this bear to sleep. Not gonna happen. Well, Octavia, you're the only one that's done any damage. Let's try your acid again. Yeah, two more. Still, still got. Started with 73. Halfway would be 36 ish. We're down to maybe 32. Two ish HP. Please don't, please don't kill her. Please don't kill her. Oh, he got three. Jeez. <laughs> Guess we could try the burning hands. Um, I feel like fire might be a good option here. I you survive. I always survive. Oh, we got, oh shoot. We hit Amiri with that. <laughs> Did a couple damage to the bear. I was dumb. We need to try to get her up just so that the bear goes after her again, not somebody else. I don't know if we can do enough healing. Uh, 
Means Ragengar is gonna have to get in here. Let's use our whole action. We better put it on. Can't, can't attack now. I doubt you can survive a hit from the bear either. Lindsay, can you? Amiri is still not, she won't get up before the bear's turn. That does put her above zero though. I guess Octavia, try your acid again. Missed. Now she's dead, dead. The weak suffer. I endure. Yeah, I thought he was gonna put Ragengar down on the same turn. It's ridiculous. Now, I mean, I guess it's just getting in here and hoping that we get some crits. We're going to be just dead meat now. Just get in there, Harim. <laughs> Ragengar, you got a big hit in you. Could do the touch of fatigue. Or this. Can we still attack with that? One reduced. We did six damage, it was reduced to one. Why? Is it, that was because of damage reduction. So slashing damage is definitely not the way to go with this thing. Well, Lindsay can try to heal him, I guess. He's probably dead anyway, though. She can maybe do a bit of damage with the screen. Octavia, you got a big ass. Oh, what about telekinetic fist? Bludgeoning damage. Let's just see what that does. Missed, of course. Could be worse. At last. <laughs> Gets three wax at us. Well, now I guess it's just experimenting to see if anything can hurt this about some electric electricity seems like the magic against it is probably more effective than physical attacks if 
we probably definitely we don't want two people grouped up so that he can attack both of them and kill them on the same turn. We never had her put encourage on either. Flare do anything? What about snowball? Everything is just tiny little chippy hits. Jeez. Yeah, do we just keep throwing ourselves at this fight? I mean, we did. We took some health off of it eventually. Or do we need to try these other creatures again first? Uh, man. No stopping now. Mary's got the most HP. It's probably the one most likely to be able to not die in one hit. So maybe we need to keep everybody else back. With options for ranged attack so maybe like give him some fire um, maybe give him another heal and equip his crossbow could use this Mage armor on Amiri. Maybe instead of the vanish, give you another fire bomb. Not having trouble with fear at the moment. Um, another heal. We do have the acid flask. Let's give Amiri a couple options. We're not gonna use that so maybe give him what's this okay uh, if we get to the point where she needs a potion that we're already dead, so let's give her that. Okay. Well, let's head in here again. Onwards. What you want? Die for fun. Jeez. I think last time oh, it looks like it has slightly more HP than last time, maybe. Okay. We want to get Amiri 
buffed up a bit. If we can. And make sure she's the one getting hit. Let's put on bark skin. I'm not gonna enlarge her. Fighting defensively. And and just move up here a bit. Okay. Anything else we want to do? I don't think so. Lindsay. Let's have you put courage on and just get up here closer for the heels and let's have you attempt an acid splash I wonder if the the acid uh, flasks, the fire, if those have does it, those have any better chance to hit than our spell here? They do more damage potentially. Well, at least the fire does. Okay, then hurry on. Can you, um, uh, let's use this bless scroll. Well, you could just use this. Just move up one step there. Okay, Regengar. Let's have you oh, at a higher level these these add properties to the weapon like flaming flaming burst frost. Let's see if we can hit with one of these. Yeah, the flask does more damage than that spell does. Let's try the acid flask. Okay. A few, a few more of those. Maybe we could get somewhere. Um, let's just get up here and throw this fire. We know we're at least, even if we miss, we should do one damage with those. Oh, he's going right past Amiri. She gonna hurt herself with this? All enemies. Is it worth just having her take a swing? Let's. We've got the flask. Let's use it. Gosh. Why are we... We're stunned. Okay. Problem is we have to get in close to heal. <laughs> I 
Which makes us so vulnerable then. We can't even get in there. Yeah. This did a bit of damage. This doesn't feel like it's going any better than last time. Could try the enfeeblement. It'd be nice if that could hit. Well, heal up, Harem. Not that that's going to help much. Let's have you try the enfeeblement scroll. We could. That goes on herself. Guess let's see if we can get her up. Lindsay's probably going to be dead being that close. We just can't do anything to stop this bear. Is it on fire? Oh, we did hit with a ray of enfeeblement at some point. Yeah. Um, I just don't know if that helps anybody that much. According to this, that's enem only enemies. down but still <laughs> well I think if of anybody at this point we probably want him going after Regengar I wonder if we could draw him back here behind yeah. he can probably hit he'll probably kill both of them Try this, I think. Doesn't do much damage. This could potentially do a bit more. Let's try the snowball. This spell's Oops. not supposed to work like yes. that. Dang it. I'll survive. I always survive. A miserable last chapter. 
I mean, we're getting him down, but... I don't think we're gonna have enough. I mean, I guess we go... Buy more flasks. Seems to be the only thing we that works. Um... Put this on. See if you can survive a hit. We got an attack of opportunity on our on our bow shot from clear over there. Oh no! I accidentally skipped her turn. See if we can do this without hitting a Miri. Man, we're close. If I hadn't accidentally skipped her turn. Mm, man. Try the color spray. Doesn't do any damage though. Mm. Just try our acid splash and hope that hits. Okay, uh, we are back here again. We did better that time, I guess. We got it down to just a sliver of health. What I'd really like to know is how Tristian up here gets that bear down to half health. Um, I wonder if there's a way to get the bear's attention away from... Tristian and maybe they can do some more damage to it I definitely want to make sure we're loaded up on all of the flasks we have I think we we are the healing spells are pretty much worthless because that bear kills us in one hit. So maybe we have a Mary run in and see if maybe the bear will attack her. We could keep her alive. She could put the bark skin on. Anything else like Could use the vanish potion. Um, it is done. And that bear is such a long reach, too. Hmm. Put the bark skin on, and then. Hit it with acid flask. I need inspiration. Uh, 
Well, maybe a little courage will help us. <laughs> oh, Tristian's not even... That... Okay. We at least got another turn here before things go completely sideways. We want this on. Let's... Can we still charge? Let's charge in here, Amiri. Regengar. What? Can't reach? Like... Oh, we were flat-footed. He can reach. Slightly better start than last time. I wish Tristian could have got a turn before the bear does again. Maybe Amiri will get a attack of opportunity. She can't reach. Can she reach with anything? Let's get up here closer then. That's unfortunate. We kind of surprised it, but we couldn't reach then. Can you see reach the, the screen? Survive. We'll see what Tristian can do when they actually get a turn. Now we can try this. Oh, Tristian. How'd you get it so far down? That kind of thing going on. My search was not in mm, something over there. Glass. Okay, more fire. Our flasks aren't hitting as well as they did last time, I think. That'd be great if we could put it to sleep. Scream, at least we get a couple damage out of it. Dawnflower. Great. <sighs> All right. 
It is what it is. I don't know how many times we can keep throwing ourselves on this fight, though. If we fail this again, I'm tempted to go try that Shrake River quest. It has to do with our dreams. Um, Aram doesn't really have anything now. So you can shoot with your crossbow. Repent. We've got it low and nobody is completely dead yet. That's one upside. He's dead next time. Well, Harim could heal him. Oh, it'd be nice if we could do this without having anybody go completely down. The acid splash. I wish this could hit. I feel like the acid is a bit more accurate for some reason. It doesn't seem like there's any reason it should be. I guess they get a fortitude saving throw. That's just on the staggered condition. Let's try the snowball. Oh, he hit. Two damage. <laughs> it's pretty low again. Can we use our fire on you without hitting Amiri? I think that's hitting her, is it? It's like, oh, it is on her foot. Maybe not there, though? If we just move back a little bit, maybe we're okay then. It's low. We're so close. She doesn't have anything left. Heal him, I suppose. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven damage. We can still do it. Try to separate people a little bit. So Lindsay can move back on her turn. Your life ebbs low. Ooh, we got three. Even reduced. 
Oh, is it eight damage? Reduced to three. And he's got to have like one HP left. Maybe two. We are so close. I wish she had something that we knew it was automatic. Or the acid. Come on. Yes. Tristian's alive. Regengar's not, but we've got a scroll. Um, I think this calls for save, a new save game. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, we did it with one casualty. Um, I'm going to make sure we don't screw this up. I imagine Lindsay could use this. Does that say? Can we use with skill check? So would that be better on someone else? About Octavia. Can't use it. Can't use it. He can use it. Okay. Patience. That was a six thousand gold scroll we just used. But it's good to have you back, Regengar. Okay, everybody's alive. Let's talk to this guy. Or gal, I can't tell. I swear, never have I been so glad to meet a stranger. Even with the power granted me by Saren Ray, I almost lost. You have my thanks. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tristian. Hi, Tristian. We've still got to deal with the other beasts. Uh, a local nymph directed me here. <laughs> it's funny how they call it a local nymph. Like your local barber directed me here. She thinks the enchanted fog in this temple was created by the druid who serves the bandit leader here. I expect defeating the beast guards should cause the fog to clear. I have never spoken to nymphs, but I believe their assessment is accurate. The creatures occupying this temple are far from ordinary animals. The power that moved them here is related to the fog. The beasts hold the fog as anchors hold a ship dancing in the waves. From what I can tell, once the beasts are defeated, the fog should begin to clear. How'd you get here? I was investigating this fog. I believe you have already discerned that it is magical in nature. I serve Serenre, goddess of sunlight. Discovering an evil magic that isolated living creatures from the sun alarmed me in no small way. I was able to locate the place the fog originated from, but was too presumptuous and almost got into the beast's teeth. Need help? You are very kind. Kindness to strangers is in short supply these days. But worry not. Saren Ray's priests are skilled in the healing arts. I can heal myself. Yeah, so... Hmm. Do we want his help with the other beasts here? I'm not sure who he would replace. Potentially... Lindsay? I promise to think about your request after uh, we deal okay. with beasts. But please, allow me to catch my breath. You're not going to help us in the immediate in the immediate. 
I will wait for you. This far. Okay. Well, we're not done. There was something up here. Can we grab that? Some potions. Some stuff to sell. Something here. Order staff. Potion of remove curse. Five years in the depths of the forest. Revelations of a disciple of the teacher of Avalo by Surya the Wolf. Ludrigan van der Lapius and Daughters. Publishing house. Spent half my life in a temple of Serenre. I served the goddess loyally and blindly, never considering that no one, not even an immortal deity, can walk your path for you. I carried out Serenre's will, but never stopped to think about what it was exactly or what lay behind it, the source of the kind goddess' kindness. Then an unknown preacher came to town and challenged the senior priests of all the great temples to, de to debates. Some laughed at him, others defamed him, but many, like me, saw the truth in his words. We followed him into the Arthfell Forest, where he'd med med meditated for seven years, gaining insights into truth. The teacher opened my eyes to the wise way, the path that the kind gods follow, and the common thread that unifies all their teachings and makes them worthy of veneration. Some understand it through the phoenix, in burning instincts and a fiery will. Others go the way of the unicorn or chameleon, achieving peace in silence. Those who have a powerful voice go the lion's way and preach the wise way to others. I found enlightenment on the way of the wolf in cutting wood, carrying water, and working without thought of thanks. Scroll of Call Lightning. What's that say? Immediately upon completion of the spell and once per round thereafter, you may call down a six foot wide, 30 foot long vertical bolt of lightning that deals 3d6 points of electricity damage. Wow. Bolt of lightning flashes down in a vertical stroke at whatever target point you choose within the spell's range. Any creature in the target square or in the path of the bolt is affected. You need not call a bolt of lightning immediately. Other actions, even spellcasting, can pre be performed first. Each round after the first, you may use a standard action to call a bolt. Each time you cast a bolt, the spell's duration is reduced by one minute. That sounds awesome. We might have to use that over here. And we've got some tenderloin. Over here, we've got something in this branch. Okay. No stopping now. Everybody's alive, but we're sort of hurting, and we don't have. Adventures away. He's got some spell uses. Adventures called she them. doesn't. Here I am. I'm See. restless. Here. But worth trying to my own make camp here before we face off with those. The scroll we found. Where's that? Can anyone use it? Scroll of call lightnings. Level three, does that mean no one's going to be able to use it? She could use it with a skill check. I wonder if that means if we fail the check, we lose the scroll. So we've got a couple that might be able to use that.
Well, I'll think about that. I'm going to end it here for now. We'll come back and maybe make camp uh, before we... There's a boar over here and some wolves down this direction. I don't know. Both They've both killed us <laughs> in the past, so we will see what we can do this time. We're going to save it here. Really appreciate you watching and hope you're enjoying this playthrough like I am. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye.